What's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to replace the auxiliary fans drive motor of Mitsubishi Lancer Pizza Pie GLX model 2000. And the first thing that we want to do is to pull out the fan by loosening and removing its lock nut using an 8mm socket wrench or close wrench. Use any lubricant or penetrating oil if you are having difficulty pulling off the fan. See? <laughs> then remove these three mounting screws using a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, we're now ready to remove the drive motor. There it goes. We can now remove the wire from the wire clips. Be careful not to break the clips because they are already brittle due to old age. <laughs> I've just told you. <laughs> okay, we're going to be needing this sample and looking for a new unit. Keep the screws and the lock nut in a safe place to avoid losing them. And now we have plenty of time to clean everything that has to be cleaned. Ano ba mo? Mark. Mark. Binigay sa akin yung mark ng 1,000. 1,3. So, dito sa Balitvela, daming tindahan ng surplus. Ito. Dami, ano nga kuha ako? Ito binigay sa akin. Ayan. Ito yung sa akin, ito yung piyesa ko. Anong lugar to sa Valencia, wala? Dalan-dalan sa'yo? Dalan-dalan? Okay. 
we're gonna get rid of these wires and sockets because they don't match with the water temperature sensor and this set of old wires and socket are still what we're gonna be using We may now cut the wires of the old motor. Next is stripping all the wire ends. Be careful in cutting the wires of the new motor. Once done, there's no turning back. Then connect the old wires to both ends of the wires of the new motor unit. Observe the correct color coding connection. Here it's blue to blue and black to black. We may now insulate the exposed wires by adequately wrapping them with electrical tape. This is just a simple technique so we could pass through that very narrow opening between the two wires and wrap up this electrical tape onto that remaining exposed wire nice and easy. <laughs> We are now ready to mount the new motor. Carefully insert the wires into the clips.
Remove the lock nut before mounting the fan. Find the perfect position of the fan before thoroughly inserting it onto the motor shaft. Secure the fan with the lock nut and tighten it using an 8mm socket wrench or close wrench. This is now the perfect time to replace the old electrical tapes. We can use a cable wire to replace the damaged cable clip. We are now ready to install the auxiliary fan assembly with the new motor. Ensure the correct orientation of the fan assembly before finally mounting it to the radiator. Move the battery a few inches backwards and remove the water reservoir to create more space and do the task easily. Put back the water reservoir as soon as the fan assembly sets in. We may now put back all the disconnected hoses and secure them with adequately tightened hose clamps to avoid leaks. Lift the front end of the car to ease up the tightening of the mounting bolt near the water temperature sensor. Connect the auxiliary fan motor socket to the water temperature sensor of the radiator.
tighten the four mounting bolts in an alternating manner to ensure that the auxiliary fan assembly is perfectly mounted to avoid vibration. We are now ready to connect the wires to the battery. Be sure that the terminal lugs are properly connected and tightened. Red to positive and black to negative. Do not forget to put back the battery mounting brackets. A poorly mounted battery significantly reduces its lifespan. Double check all the affected connections, especially the hoses, for tightness. Check also the water level of the cooling system and top up if necessary. Oops, I haven't started it yet. That's our neighbor's car. Check further for any materials or tools that may still be lying around inside the engine bay and take them away before starting up the engine for testing. We may now disengage the jack to lower down the car. And we are now ready for the testing. Wait for a few minutes to rise up the water temperature as reflected on the gauge. This will activate the auxiliary fan motor and will keep it running to cool down the system. There you go.
If you want to know how I pulled out the auxiliary fan assembly from the engine bay, just click the link above and it will bring you to the video. Okay, I can safely hit the road again. Thanks for watching guys, see ya!